Thurman Munson was an American professional baseball player who spent his entire 11-year career in Major League Baseball as the catcher for the New York Yankees. He was a seven-time All-Star, the 1976 American League MVP, and a key member of the Yankees' World Series championship teams in 1977 and 1978. Thurman Munson, Death by Jet. On August 2, 1979, New York Yankees captain Thurman Munson died in a plane crash near his home in Canton, Ohio. Munson was piloting his private jet. He was 32 years old at the time, cutting short the career and life of a true Yankees legend. Leonard Skinner is a legendary American rock band. At the heart of Leonard Skinner's success was the songwriting prowess of the original members, particularly the trio of Ronnie Van Zant, Gary Rossington, and Alan Collins. Their songs, such as the iconic Free Bird and Sweet Home Alabama, have become staples of classic rock radio. Leonard Skinner, Tragedy by Lack of Fuel. On October 20th, 1977, the band's chartered plane ran out of fuel and crashed in a wooded area of Mississippi, claiming the lives of frontman Ronnie Van Zant guitarist Steve Gaines, and backup singer Cassie Gaines, among others. Audie Murphy was an American hero, soldier, songwriter, and actor. Born into poverty in Texas, he overcame a difficult childhood to become the most decorated soldier of World War II. He would go on to star in dozens of Hollywood westerns. Audie Murphy, Death by Mountain. The details surrounding Murphy's plane crash are both harrowing and mysterious. On May 28, 1971, he boarded a private jet that was headed from Atlanta to Roanoke, Virginia. Shortly after takeoff, the plane experienced engine failure and crashed into a mountainside. All six on board perished in the crash. Payne Stewart was a professional golfer who achieved great success on the PGA Tour. Known for his distinctive knickers and Tam O'Shanter cap, Stewart had a flair for the dramatic and was beloved by golf fans around the world. Payne Stewart, Death by Field. On October 25, 1999, the private jet carrying the famous golfer and several others mysteriously lost cabin pressure, causing everyone on board to lose consciousness. The plane continued flying on autopilot until it eventually ran out of fuel and crashed in a field in South Dakota. Payne Stewart and five others on board all perished in the crash. Randy Rhodes was one of the most talented and influential guitarists in the history of heavy metal. He is best known for his work with Ozzy Osbourne in the early 1980s, where he helped define the sound of Osbourne's solo career after leaving Black Sabbath. Randy Rhodes' death by prank gone wrong. The tragic plane crash that took the life of guitar virtuoso Randy Rhodes is a somber moment in rock history. On March 19, 1982, Rhodes died when the small plane he was traveling in clipped the Ozzy Osbourne tour bus and crashed. Rhodes was just 25 years old at the time of the accident. Will Rogers, an American humorist, actor, and social commentator, charmed audiences with his witty observations and relatable charm. By the mid-1930s, Rogers had become a household name in the United States and was among the highest paid Hollywood film stars. Will Rogers, Death by Takeoff. On August 15, 1935, Will Rogers and aviation pioneer Wiley Post died in a plane crash near Point Barrow, Alaska. They were flying in a Lockheed hybrid airplane when the engine stalled shortly after takeoff, causing the plane to crash into a lagoon. Both men died instantly. Roberto Clemente was a true legend both on and off the baseball field. He was a 15-time All-Star, 12-time Gold Glove winner, and led the Pittsburgh Pirates to a World Series championship in 1971. But Clemente was more than just a talented athlete. He was a humanitarian who dedicated his life to helping others. Roberto Clemente, Death by Circumstance. Clemente's life was cut short on December 31, 1972, 
when the plane he was traveling in crashed while delivering relief supplies to earthquake victims in Nicaragua. He was just 38 years old, but his legacy lives on as one of the most beloved and respected figures in baseball history. The day the music died was a tragic event that shook the music world. On February 3, 1959, a plane crash in Iowa claimed the lives of three of the biggest stars in rock and roll history, Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper. It's a day that will forever be etched in the minds of music lovers as a tragic turning point in the history of rock and roll. The day the music died. On February 3, 1959, the plane chartered to take the three musicians to their next tour stop after a show in Clear Lake, Iowa, encountered severe weather and crashed just minutes after takeoff. Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper all died instantly, cutting short the careers and lives of these immensely talented artists who were at the peak of their popularity. Graham Hill was a true legend of motorsport. As the only driver to have won the coveted Triple Crown of Motorsport, which includes victories at the Indianapolis 500, the Monaco Grand Prix, and the 24 Hours of Le Mans, cementing his place in history as one of the greatest racers of all time. Graham Hill, death by Piper Aztec. Hill died in a plane crash on November 29, 1975. He was piloting a Piper Aztec light aircraft when it crashed near Arkley in Hertfordshire, United Kingdom, while approaching Elstree Airfield. The crash also claimed the lives of the five other passengers on board, who were key members of his Embassy Hill racing team. John F. Kennedy Jr. was a prominent figure who captured the public's imagination. He was a son of President John F. Kennedy and First Lady Jackie Kennedy. He carved out his own path, becoming a successful magazine publisher and lawyer. John F. Kennedy Jr., death by wedding. John F. Kennedy Jr., his wife Carolyn Bissett, and her sister Lauren Bissett, tragically died in a plane crash on July 16, 1999. Kennedy was piloting his Piper Saratoga aircraft en route to a wedding when it crashed into the Atlantic Ocean near Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Tony Lima burst onto the PGA Tour in the early 1960s, and his rise to stardom was swift. Within just a few years of turning pro, he had won multiple tournaments, including the 1964 Open Championship at St. Andrews, cementing his status as a rising superstar. Tony Lima, death by lack of fuel. Lima died in a plane crash on July 24, 1966. The crash occurred in Lansing, Illinois, as Lima was traveling to an exhibition tournament following the PGA Championship in Akron, Ohio. The plane reportedly ran out of fuel and crashed onto a golf course. Sadly, all four people on board, including Lima's wife, perished in the accident. Stan Rogers was a Canadian folk singer-songwriter whose songs were inspired by historical facts. His songs often told the stories of fishermen, loggers, and railway workers. He was just gaining popularity at the time of his untimely demise. Stan Rogers, Death by Fire. Rogers died on June 2nd, 1983 at the age of 33. He perished in a fire on Air Canada Flight 797, which occurred while the plane was on the tarmac at the Greater Cincinnati Airport. The tragic incident also claimed the lives of 22 others. Art Scholl was a legendary American aviator, cinematographer, and stunt pilot. He was known for his daring aerial maneuvers performing incredible feats for movies like Top Gun and The Right Stuff. Art Scholl, death by stunt gone wrong. Scholl died September 16, 1985, performing a daring stunt during the filming of Top Gun when his Pitts S2 camera plane failed to recover from an intentional tailspin and plunged into the Pacific Ocean. Jane Dornacker's career took off in the 1970s when she began reporting on traffic conditions from the skies above New York City. With her sharp wit and unflappable personality, 
she quickly became a beloved figure, entertaining listeners with her colorful descriptions of the gridlock below. Jane Dornacker, Death by News. Dornacker tragically died in a helicopter crash on October 22, 1986, while giving a live traffic report for WNBC in New York City. The helicopter she was in experienced mechanical failure and plunged into the Hudson River. Q Sakamoto was a Japanese singer and actor who rose to fame in the 1960s. Known for his upbeat and catchy pop songs, Sakamoto became a cultural icon in Japan and beyond. Q Sakamoto, Death by Mountain. On August 12, 1985, Sakamoto was a passenger on Japan Airlines Flight 123, which crashed into Mount Takamagahara in Gunma Prefecture, Japan. This accident is known as the deadliest single aircraft accident in aviation history, with 520 fatalities. Harriet Quimby was a true trailblazer. She earned her pilot's license in 1911, just two years after the Wright brothers' historic first flight. Quimby then went on to make history again in 1912, when she became the first woman to fly across the English Channel. Harriet Quimby, death by fall. Quimby, a pioneering aviator, tragically died on July 1, 1912. She was piloting her two-seater Blériot monoplane over Dorchester Bay, Massachusetts, when she lost control of the aircraft. Both she and her passenger, William Willard, were ejected from the plane and fell to their deaths. Leslie Howard was an English actor, producer, and director who rose to fame during the golden age of Hollywood. He is best known for his performances in films such as Gone with the Wind, Pygmalion, and The Scarlet Pimpernel. Leslie Howard, Death by Bad Luck. Howard's life was cut short when the plane he was traveling on was shot down by German fighters over the Bay of Biscay in 1943. He was just 50 years old at the time. Despite his untimely death, Leslie Howard's legacy as one of the great actors of Hollywood's golden age endures. Beverly Homer DeLay was a true pioneer of early aviation. He performed death-defying stunts that left spectators breathless. DeLay soon adapted these thrilling maneuvers for the movies, appearing alongside some of Hollywood's biggest stars. Beverly Homer DeLay, Death by Sabotage. DeLay tragically died in a plane crash on July 4, 1923. The crash occurred during an air show in Venice, Los Angeles, and was suspected to be caused by sabotage due to professional jealousy. Despite the suspicions, no one was ever charged in connection with his death. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. That little bell notification is also super helpful. It'll make sure you never miss an upload from me. I've got tons more great stuff in the works, so you won't want to miss out. Until next time, take care.